Welcome to Off the Press. That's the news uh, paper review where we try to take a look at the headlines and make sense of it. And with me to do so this morning is uh, Olo Jedek Bolahong, public affairs analyst. And good to, be here. good to have you, as always. And Dr. Femi Itohu Adegoke, good to have you. Good morning, you all. So we have a couple of papers here to take a look at. Hopefully, we'll be able to review all before it's time up. But we'll begin with the Punch newspaper, uh, which I believe will be displayed uh, for you now. It says, PFAs invest 7.40 trillion naira in federal government securities and infrastructure. That story is on page 30, already displayed there on your screen. And Khan laments... AI protests as Boko Haram executes Adamawa cleric, unfortunately. On page 16, FG wants high-profile looters extrad extradited. Extra on Magu on page 16, also, of the Punch newspaper. Uh, we have something on Lassa fever kills two in Kano. Uh, doctors on do death toll rises on page 7. Supreme Court upholds autumn and Fintiri victories on page 20. You can see it's displayed to your right there. And the big story for the Punch newspaper this morning is Operation Amotekun. Presidency, governor's meeting called off South Hess holds rallies on pages 2 and 16. The meeting is now postponed to Thursday, which is tomorrow actually. And we have picture stories of rallies from Ekiti State, from Oshun, from Oyo, and Diego State. And you know, those who are in support of Operation Amotekun were out in the street yesterday. Three headsmen arranged for destroying Ekiti farms with cows on page seven. And dismembered body of Bilonia found in Lagos forests. That's on pages four and five. And stakeholders raised 29 member panel to resolve Quara and Sarekis dispute on page seven. Where do we begin? Do we begin with this picture? Yeah, the stories, the picture stories are there of uh, those who are protesting. Hopefully these are not the rented crowds. I heard there's something called crowd renting. <laughs> No, well, there's crowd renting in Nigeria, but uh, this, this do not look like rented crowd. Okay. Uh, because the support for Amotekun amongst the people in the Southwest is overwhelming. Hmm. If you throw it to a vote, um, the vote will embarrass the central government. That is the reality. Hmm. I like the way you put it. Um, I, I would like to say something about the, the last of evil thing. Okay, yes, please. Uh, I, I think it's important that even the contiguous states uh, start to take action about, you know, ensuring that it doesn't spread further. Mm -hmm. It has already done some damage in those states. Uh, and in the midst of that, we had the China problem, and the first victim yeah. has been found in America. Mm, coronavirus. It's also something that requires our attention. We are not going to wait till they say, oh, there's the first victim in Nigeria mm -hmm. as well. So considering the movement in and out of the country, whatever we need to do, I hope that the health, the people in charge of our health will, will address note. all of that. Yeah. All right. Dr. Femi, do you want to intervene? Well, on the Lassa fever, it's just for the, uh, every government now, the state government, mm -hmm. to local government level, to begin to have precautionary measure on our sanitation because it, before you know it, it's everywhere. By the way, there's so many big rats, yeah. big, big rats, I yeah. say. It's because we have sanitation, we have yes, sanitation problem. Environment is scary. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's move away from uh, Lassa fever. Any other story? Uh, Amotekun yes. is not about to go away. It has dominated it this go away. caution. Um, for several weeks now, uh, I mean, since it was launched, maybe for a couple of weeks, mm. um, I think the Southwest governors are still shying away from doing what I think should be the right thing to do. Which is? You cannot build something on nothing. So if the issue of legality is being challenged, rightly or wrongly, I think we should proceed to settle it. They may be right. If they are right, they should settle it. If they are wrong, they should also settle that. Mm. It's based on that. When you have ascertained that there is legality, there is a base, then you can build on a base. There are all sort of emotional issues about how similar organizations are everywhere, this, mm. this, this, that, that, that. But as long as we don't address that legal base, we will have issues. issues. That, that, that legal base, part of what we also need to address around there, will now be the modus operandi. How will it run? How will it be funded? How will what they is collaborate? the institutional structure? Mm -hmm. Who will lead it? How will the recruitment? Those are things that 
Some of them even have to be crafted as part of the legislation setting it up in the first instance. That's correct. Then, is there any need for domestication? Will the Houses of Assembly need to pass laws and all of that? If we don't address that, here is what I think will happen to Amateku. It will remain in the news. It will never really take off. It will, become, it will just remain as public discussion over there. So what is the whole lesson? The purpose is for security. If the security is abandoned and it just becomes a public discourse, it's a waste of time. Hmm. I like the way you've put it there in terms of saying there are certain things that need, still needs to be done, you know, the basics. And I was just going to add even to marshal out how, how are they going to collaborate with other you know, security, security agencies. agencies. Yeah. So Those are all so part of the not, modus operandi. They are not competitors, <clears throat> but, you know, collaborators, so to speak. Do you want to intervene, Dr. Yeah, Femi? I saw uh, you. Uh, yes, I, I think I, I mentioned it yesterday. I'm not against uh, Amoteko. I'm for any security outfit to make live and properties secure. Whether Amoteko <laughs> or it's Kineo or anything. You understand? Okay. But I will make reference to what one of the governors of the Southwest said, and which I feel the governors themselves, that the southwestern governors, have the uh, lapse, lapses in their own preparation. I think they just rush to do a shoddy arrangement for this Amoteco. You are now coming out to tell us that there are enemies or saboteurs mm. within your own region. Shouldn't you have expected that? Shouldn't you have mitigating uh, factors and things to, in place to guide against that? Mm. And in, finally, the constitution of this country, I've said it times without number, it's lopsided. And that's why I mentioned to him before we came on here, that's why it's no one, either the federal government or the governors, they've not been able to go to court yet. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move away from Amoteco mm -hmm. in the interest mm -hmm. of time. So we see that the, you were with me in the news when we talked about the, the killing of uh, the cleric Andimi there. It's on the front page. Um, Adamawa cleric who was killed by mm. the Boko Haram. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate, unfortunate one there. And we have the story on Supreme Court of Ports, Autumns and Fitir victims. We also have headsmen arraigned for destroying Ekiti farms. We've never heard any arraignment, so this seems to be the first time we're hearing. I'm, I'm sure there will have been a few. Okay. Uh, sometimes when, it depends on who has been arraigned. Mm. You know, yeah, that's that's the reality. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will not because uh, I, I think I have an understanding of yeah. what you say. I think so. All right, so um, shall we move on now uh, to the Nation newspaper? Uh, because I can see we have some uh, stories on, coming here, so we can just take the nation newspaper now. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Ibadan Obas, who've not settled with Olu Ibadan, are crowns intact. That story is on page 40 of the nation newspaper. Desire Kuku Olu Jeme top EFCC's watch list uh, February 14 is anti-graft day. Why would they choose that day? That day is another... Valentine's yes. Day. Yes. <laughs> Who is this? Okay, people, now. So, Valentine's Day is... is um, anti-graft day. Yes, it's know. also anti-graft day. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> well, so that story is on page 8 of the Nation newspaper. <laughs> and then, Khan kicks as Boko Haram kills Adamawa pastor. Buhari condemns killing. Um, that story is also on page 5 of the Nation newspaper. Again, the big story is Amoteko, no going back. Rallies rock southwest states, and we have the picture stories uh, to display, as you can see there. And um, Mr. Bolaha is almost, yeah. Mr. Lojide is almost sure that these are not rented crowd. So um, people are indeed in support of this security outfit up there. So Ibadan, 78 groups, others rally for security outfits. Uh, we will close schools, that's according to Nans. Akure won't abandon our people, Adekiti. Outfit not against any group. Oshobo is response to security challenge. Uh, Fasomi seeks a makeable solution. Abel Kusa, 14 pressure groups, others to federal government back outfit. Indeed, there's huge support <laughs> there. So you can find the stories on pages 7, 9, 18, 20 and 48 of the nation's uh, newspaper. And then again, we have Autumn Fittiri retains seats at Supreme Court opposed election. And there's no That's case like of. Nine um, months after election. Yes, nine. <laughs> Some of those things that we need to walk away from by passing our electoral law. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's the reality. Uh, the can matter, the, the guy that was mm -hmm. killed, is quite, quite unfortunate. And my big concern is that, um, like I said earlier, Christian might be 
more prone to be victims. Mm -hmm. uh, because for two reasons. Number one is the fact that they will generate more attention. Terrorists like attention. The call for it. The, 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 why the would they go to a village to go and kidnap a nameless person? He, True. Most likely they are even doing that on a steady basis, just that it doesn't make it to the newspapers. That's correct. Then when you kidnap a high value target, the bid is higher. Mm. So uh, you, you demanding for fifty million, I don't know how much they demanded for this time. Yes, fifty million, you're right. God forbid that. that there's a next no, one. The target they two, demanded two million, for two million pounds. Oh. The church was only able was to raise offering fifty million. 50 million. million. Yeah. So when you have a high target value, you can beat up. Mm. Yeah. And that is why government must pay attention to that side of things. The business side of it. Yes. So high value target, target that will generate a lot of attention in the media. Terrorism loves attention. And, and, and Christians are, 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 are likely more disposed to be victims mm -hmm. under these circumstances. But what's the way forward? If I may ask uh, Dr. Femi there, what, what do we do, you know, moving forward? Well, what's, what, what can happen next? The way forward is for the federal government is to look inward uh, when it comes to security. I can tell you for free now, we are, they are, they are no, Amoteco. <laughs> Amoteco was not properly structured, so I'm not talking about Amoteco. In the Northeast, especially in Brno State, they have a civilian JTF yeah. who were Dangerous able, course. at the initial state, they were able to push out Boko Haram from Meduguri and other suburb towns. So I think in Hadamawa, in all the states around there, I'm not saying they should do a regional policing or Amoteko. Each state, like Lagos State now, we have a, a, a community policing outfit in Lagos. Why not? Every, do you understand? Pol uh, policing should be local because crime is local. And they can identify, so yes. to speak. So, so the federal government needs, they cannot be pussyfooting on that anymore. It's a big problem. Security is a big issue. So we need to deal with it. All right. Uh, sorry, I just noticed that I slightly skipped something there, which is 29-man uh, panel to mediate in Kwara government and Saraki family land dispute. Do you remember that story that's been going? Uh, How many yes. land disputes are going on in Nigeria? Yeah. Well, Why is this one? Because this, this Ile, Ile Arubo is involved in this one. Okay, you know, remember, it's a piece, it's, 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 Ile, Ile Arubo is just the, um, I don't know, the, the attempt to drag the people into it. Yeah. It's actually mm. governor and, so, and Saraki. Saraki. They should go and sort their issues I, and keep it off the press. I will even say, I will even say it's, it's uh, Abdul Razak, that's the governor, mm. and the Saraki's family. And they need their about fathers were at each other's neck. Mm -hmm. Now the sons are. So, History is repeating itself. Yeah. Uh, well, and they need as much as twenty-nine man panel. Okay. Yeah, because so, these things well, are political. <laughs> that, that story is on page ten of the Nation newspaper. Uh, okay, one more story. We'll take one more story from here. So yeah. there's the one between Designy and uh, Kuku. Though they are the EFCC top watch list, and of course, as well as the fourteenth of February thing, and then Ibadan. Um, others who've not settled with Tolu, but our crown still intact. We'll just take one of this, any of this story. Um, uh, well, I, I think I heard the president uh, in, the in his recent visit to mm -hmm. the UK um, also appealing to the United Kingdom to yeah. help with this extradition uh, issues. Yeah. Uh, there are some high target people that he believed need to come and answer some graft mm. questions in Nigeria. But fortunately, they've made the uh, UK their heaven and mm. have not been able to. Four, year, four years have passed. And what that reminds me is the fact that we actually must move our anti-corruption war away from catching them after they have done it mm -hmm. okay. to making it impossible for them to do it. So the prevention is more effective yeah. than trying to catch them. Absolutely. After. It's, it's difficult when someone has access to billions of naira or dollars, yeah. bringing that person to answer for anything mm. is a challenge. Do you agree? Yeah, just to add to what you said. They said power corrupts and absolute, absolute power, power corrupts. corrupts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We know that line. Okay, so let's move on to this day newspaper. Uh, Nigeria, UK investors sign 153.4 billion Naira trade deals. That's on the front page there, as you can see it. And it's continued on page nine. And Supreme Court retains Ottawa Fintri in office on page five. So it's not a case of, you know, the thing that happened in Imo State as well. Uh, then Boko Haram's killing of Khan chairman provocative 
negative, says Buhari. Okay. Insurgents reject 15 uh, million ransom from offer. Group blames federal government for murder of Andimi. Should it be so? Uh, well, solidarity protests in southwest over Motekum. That's on the front page also, but it's continued on page 10. Police stop rally in Lagos. Also on the front page, continued on page nine of the nation newspaper institution of the active chairman of uh, economic and finance uh, efcc and former cross river state governor donald duke during an award okay so that's a picture story and that's about what we have here on um, this day newspaper just uh, the, the uk investors i think 153 billion trade deals is, is a very nice Princely figure to, to talk about. Princely uh, figure. Yeah. <laughs> most, I like. most of them are likely to be memorandums of understanding, anyway, mm -hmm. memoranda of understanding. And they will still require that we pursue them to close. To the mm -hmm. uh, those pieces of paper sometimes do not matter unless we're able to actually close them out mm -hmm. finally. Yeah. As a case. But it's, 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 it's a nice one. It shows that we're talking and we're talking at the right level. But the attention, we must begin to pay attention to the fact that. As the UK, uh, you know, get out of uh, uh, Europe, mm -hmm. Africa becomes even more significant mm -hmm. to them. Some people are saying that's why they're having this conversation. Yes, it's, it's part of it. They need, they need, they need that. And we, we should be careful not to get into a second colonization. Oh, interesting. Yes. So that in our trade deals, in our discussion, in our agreement, we are conscious of that fact. <laughs> there is no free lunch. Even anyway. in Freetown. Freetown. That's yeah. true. But we have the people, we have the quality, the caliber of people who will think proactively like this already. We never lacked people. Okay. Yeah. It is patriotism that fills us from time to time. Mm. Whether the people sitting across the table will first think about the nation Sean or they will think about themselves. their personal gains. That is what the problem is, not the mm. people. Mm. We never lacked people. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, that's very fantastic because I, I wasn't even thinking about second colonization. Uh, I was actually, I, think, I was actually thinking that this discussion we are having is not only to Nigeria. UK is looking at Africa. Have we done our homework? Are we positioned for this investment because to come in? Because being proactive yeah. from the our own end. Yes. Are we ready for it? Because there are other African countries that we can count that they can go to, mm. and they can do business with the ease of doing business. All right, so let's take the story of um, Boko Haram. We've, I mean, taken we've, we've, we've talked about that one. I think that's just, oh, Supreme Court retains autumn. Well, it was expected. Yeah, yeah, so. It was expected. Okay, so that's all we'll take for uh, this day. We'll go to Vanguard newspaper and they will be displayed. But before that, nine lawmakers defect to APC yes. and give reasons. <laughs> You're happy about that story? I <laughs> okay, you tell us about it. Yeah. That story is on page 15 of the Vanguard newspaper. Mm. Fury as Boko Haram, okay, behind. Can chairman in Adamawa on page nine. And Nigeria UK investors seal 153.4 billion naira commercial deals on page 19. Pro Amotekun rallies Rock Southwest. Uh, the same story. So, a restruct destruction of rice firm. Three headsmen docked in Ekiti on page 11. Showing Kaflays Balarabi Musa over Operation Amotekun on page 10. All right. So, the only story that is different here is uh, nine lawmakers. And I'm going to begin with you because I thought you know, the doctor of Fermi. Yes. Before I come to you, of course. Thank you. It brings us back to what we <laughs> Wow, you're waiting for this story. You won't have to say thank you. <laughs> okay, you have the time. Yes. Yeah. It brings us back to what we've been talking about, our electoral system. Mm -hmm. That is WAP. Our political system is, for me, it is non-democratic. Uh, now, be prior to the What court, is non-democratic? Their decision to defect it, or a no, system? No, no, I, I, our system. Oh, okay. Not, I just wanted to be sure. Now, Prior to the court uh, installing, uh, what's his name? Hope. Uzo, Hope Uzo Uzo I think Imo State should be one of the most diverse uh, House of Assembly because they have ABGA, they have PDP, they have AA, and they have APC or one APC or something. But right now, nine of them, I think they are 18 or 15 of the numbers, hmm. nine of them across those various parties because Uzo Dima is APC, they have now jumped to APC. They defected. They didn't jump. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever you want to call Semantics. it. Whatever you want to call it. There's jump. a movement. They change that, It just tells you they are not representing the people. The people voted for you under this political party that you have now abandoned. 
and move to another political party. Let me get your reaction. Uh, is, on that. Is predicted. Nigeria has a, 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 I mean, a political, political space. landscape is highly predictable. Once you're able to put your sentiment in the box, you can see the patterns. Mm. AA, for example, in uh, Imo State, well, what, what is AA? AA was a mere creation of roaches so that the brother, I mean, the son in law can contest an election. Mm -hmm. He has he, he lost the election anyway, so AA has become more or less an orphan. He's lucky that he can be gracefully handed over to APC now that the APC is in some place. And then the 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 horse trading has started immediately. That guy was pronounced the the governor. <clears throat> people have to realign because it's not about the people. Don't kid yourself. Yeah. That this is about the people first. No, no it's not about the people it's first. It's about them first. Hmm. So it's when they survive. Then they will tell you that when I'm here, then I can The rest protect. of you will be fine. That's All right. right. Thank you so very much. That's what we're going to wrap. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Olojede. And Thanks of course, uh, Femi Adegoke for thank coming. You. And that's where we're going to call it a wrap for today. We'll do this same time tomorrow here on Plus TV Africa. And have yourselves a great day. I remain Amaka Okui.